how do I escape cabin fever with this whole Dumbo 19 virus bull crap going on? I go to the junkyard where there's no one else here other than a couple people picking through cars and myself. And me. And Kayla. Forget about me. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm out here at Millerstown Pick Apart, and it's just outside of Millerstown, PA, Tarana, I'm out that general direction. And I'm out here because, uh, well, while I don't have anything else to do and everything else is closed, the junkyards are still open. Uh, car businesses and repair shops are still open. And I figured, well, there's not really many people here anyway, so we can come out here and just look around the cars and kind of get outside for a little bit. And not to mention, I needed to get a couple of things. Like my mom's CRV, you may remember me driving that for the early part of uh, 2019 and all of 2018. She needed a tail light for the car, and I happened to find one on this one here, this blue one. So I popped that off of there, so I'm going to buy that for her. And I'm looking for a window motor for my car, because they're known to go bad on the Cavaliers and Sunfires. And while I might not have any luck finding that, that's okay. I at least got her something, and we got to come out here and walk around for a little bit and look at some of these old cars. Yeah, so this one here, this is an 03. It actually wasn't too bad, other than being dinged up here and there. But yeah, I pulled the tail light out. Good to go. Because my brother uh, broke the other one. He says someone uh, backed into him, but I doubt that was the case. <laughs> so, I only hate the one thing about this, though, is some cars give you an access panel inside to get to the wires. This one does not, so I literally had to just let the bulbs hang there. But as you can see, most of them are burnt out anyway. But, yeah. And here's another thing that shocked me. Bad motor. That's hard to blow a motor up on one of these, because these things were built to last. Heck, as a matter of fact, Kayla's looking at getting one once this whole virus crap is over with and we save up some money. She wants to get herself a car and wants one of these. And I told her, well, you got yourself a mechanic here, so I'll help you find a good one. This one isn't that. <laughs> really funny, the moment you walk in here, you're greeted with a sunfire. But unfortunately, it's got mechanical windows. But check out the Comet here. <laughs> That's pretty insane. I haven't seen one of these in years. Not even at a car show. And to think, this was small for back in the day, too. For cars back in the 70s and whatnot. 60s. Hell, even the 50s. This was a small car. Pretty cool find. You don't see a Z-Trip car in here very often, so I needed to see it. Is it a Taurus? Yeah. Completely gutted. <laughs> That's wild. That was a peel back. Look at that. Holy smokes. There's another Taurus there. Got a little bit of everything here, even a Mustang. But then, yeah, you get an idea of how large this junkyard is. As a matter of fact, I'll go up on one of the hills here in a little bit, and I'll show you just how large this place is. That's just a little bit ridiculous, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is painted camouflage like that, which is kind of cool. I like it, I, even though there's overspray all over the appliques and windows and everything else. But my focus is on this. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. I forgot what it was even called, the Honda Passport. I forgot that these things existed. They still make them, too. That's the funny part. I was like, what is that? I don't remember what that is. Is it a pilot? I forgot about these little things. You never see these around. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> it wouldn't be a junkyard trip without a trip down to the good old Chrysler pile. Speaking of which... Memories. Memories, people. <laughs> I miss mine. I miss it. Not for the motor problems, but I miss mine because it was a good car to me. Explore and Escape Row. <laughs> Man, those things were good, though. 
ran forever, but they rotted out like crazy up here in the north. Chrysler 200, that was a big mistake. Well, at, anyway, pretty much anything Chrysler makes anymore is a mistake at this point. It's not even their fault, it's uh, Fiat's fault, but... Nah, they have some good cars. I always like these 300s, but this one's seen better days. And you got your garage over here. Camaros, you got trucks over here. Crown Vix, a lot of F-250s, F-150s, there's GM row, the old Delta 88, a lot of Buicks, a couple of Fieros, that was a mistake by Pontiac. In the sea of trucks and other Fords, for some reason, there's a Cavalier hidden back here. I knew about this one, I don't know why it's hidden back here, I mean, there's a few GMs back here, actually. Kind of shocked, but yep, eh, it's a four door. I can't do anything with it anyway. Bummer. Yeah, four door won't work. I need it to be a coupe or a convertible. I do have a Sunfire convertible if I want to try and find a, a window regulator. Man, this little this little bad boy was on fire. Torched. Holy hell, torched. Wow. And a door thrown in there. Nice. Wow, look at that. It took all the paint off the hood. There you go. There's a little bad boy. Ain't gonna do me any good, though. <laughs> but yeah, they literally have, like, every car here that you could think of. Man. Just spent a couple hours just walking around in here. Give you an idea of how large this place is. I'm standing back by the garage. Here is a good idea. And it goes on beyond that building in the in the background there. It goes way beyond there. That's where all the imports are at, all the sedans and coupes. And there's, heck, there's more cars over here. But yeah, this place is gigantic. found myself a row of cobalts and G5s. There's a couple cobalts there. Then there's a cobalt and a G5 equivalent. And I tried to tell this. I know I had a couple people debate with me. Oh, the G5 and the cobalt are not the same car. Yes, they are. Here's a pair of them right next to each other in the same color, as a matter of fact. <laughs> All only thing different are the aesthetics. But, yeah. GM Row. Look at this old bad boy. A little Oldsmobile Cutlass action. That's a 76er. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything here. One thing I liked about Saturns, you know, despite them being, you know, really ugly vehicles, what was cool about these was, is everything was easy to change on this because most parts on these cars were made out of plastic, except for like the hoods. You know, that's metal obviously, but like things like with the fender, that's plastic. And like how on the door, you could literally just take the whole panel right off to change them out. It made them nice to work on, and they're dent resistant too. You hit them hard enough, they just crack. <laughs> yeah, so there's a Sunfire convertible. I just don't know if the window motor would be the same for the convertible as it is in the coupe. I imagine it would be, but I don't know because the door is a little bit different than on a regular coupe because of the convertible top. But it does have the coupe style door on it, so I don't know, but... Hmm. Decisions. We just checked online and uh, turns out that the window regulator and motor for the convertible is different than the coupe. So it's a no-go. So we might have to run to Pittsburgh, you pull and pay. Grab one there. Because I remember seeing one where the motor was pulled out of it already. Or not pulled out. It, it was replaced. It was bolted in. And I pulled that out of there and I was going to buy it then. And I'm like, eh, maybe I'll wait. So I might have to make a trip there and get it. But... I'll show you a little bit more of this place anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Wow, look at this wild looking Dodge. What a paint job. <laughs> Yowza. <laughs> How is it so <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, good old Chrysler. I do miss mine. 
I miss mine, but like I said, just not the 2.7 engine. I hated that thing. Here's a whole crap load of Rams here. <laughs> I, you know what? I just gotta, I just gotta do. It. Hold on. You know that theme from Meow Mix where the cat's like meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Well, I can do that with all these Rams here. Ram, 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 ram. Ouch. So many of them. Yeah, a bunch of older GMs here, another Saturn. I'm digging the Regal here. Missing the doors. Still, that's a goodie. They don't make them like that anymore, though, that's for sure. I like the umbrella in there, but yeah, this thing's hurting. Well, it's been picked through, but yeah, they definitely don't make them like this anymore. Kind of funny, there was a guy and his wife that just walked by us. He's like, oh, you're making a video. I don't want to be in your video. I know I'm a, I'm a videographer and ph photographer. I don't. I know how that works. Like, I don't want you in my video anyway. <laughs> you're not that important yeah, not to the video. The video. <laughs> the video's about cars, not you. <laughs> all right, now we're up towards the top of the hill here where all the Dodge Caravans and Durangos and Dakotas are at. It's nice that they organize it, but... There's that, but yeah, guys, from on top of the hill, you see just how large this place is. As a matter of fact, I'll walk over to this uh, Dakota a little bit. Pretty large. And it goes all the way over to the building like that. And like I said, way on yonder, though, is how you get to all the... Uh, imports but there's no need for me to go all the way back there they're way beyond the trees and way beyond that blue uh, i think that's an isuzu or something but yeah they go way back okay as we get closer to it i think i referred to this blue thing as an isuzu it's an explorer or no <laughs> it's not even that it's an expedition duh <laughs> i work on cars you think i ought to remember these things <laughs> wow look at that caravan my dad had one of these back in the 90s we had one just like this. It was the same, like, similar color blue. Look at that one with the racing stripes on it. That's a little out there. <laughs> this area here, this is when Jeep actually built Jeeps. Like the Comanche. Oh, man, love those things. In these two-door Cherokees. Now, the Commander next to it, those were, a, like, a big, big mistake. Those things were junk from the start, unfortunately. Patriots, they're not too bad. Or Compass, I mean, they're not too bad, but still, Jeep doesn't make them like they used to. That's why you see a lot of Liberties back there. But these were probably my favorite ones right here, these two-door Cherokees. I would buy one of these every day if I could. Even the four-door ones, like this one over here, they were pretty good. Their problem is they rotted out up here. The floor rotted out. My uncle had one red in color, like that one right there in the background. Great, but they rotted out like crazy. More Liberties, boy. So many of them. But, yeah, I figured I'd come take a look at those real quick, too, even though I don't need anything. It's nice to reminisce in on some of these older vehicles of what dominated the streets back in the day, you know? including the old wood grain panel station wagons like this Buick in front of me. Oh, well, I think that'll wrap it up for here. Here's what I was saying. The other part of their lot that has all these imports, you got to walk a ways to get to them. And I had no need to do that, so I wasn't going to. But yeah, you can just see just how large this junkyard is. All right, well, that's going to wrap up that little tour here of Millerstown Pick Apart. We're going to hit the road and maybe swing by Pittsburgh U Pull and Pay to take a look there for uh, the window regulator for that door. If not, no biggie. Uh, maybe just save up, get a brand new one down the road. But hey, you know, I'm kind of like Scotty Kilmer. I'm a cheapskate, try to save a couple of bucks, take the gamble with a used one, and just see if it works. Now, I think at you pull and pay, they may have batteries there that I can run a couple of speaker wires to and to the window motor to see if it works. At least I, I should be able to test it there before I would buy it. So hopefully 
If not, not the end of the world. But that said, we're going to take off. <sighs> it was nice to come out and isolate. Kind of weird that there was one person that thought they were entitled to be uh, rude, but whatever. I don't really care because they're not that important. So anyway, um, you can go play with your car parts out there and you know where you can stick them to. Anyway, um, that said, uh, we're going to take off for the rest of you guys that actually uh, are cool, which is all of you guys here. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a camera on. Let's just stay. And we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.